Hello and good afternoon. This video tutorial is going to be a very fast video tutorial on uh, an update source error that I experienced while recreating uh, the topology, the configuration for the topology you see to the left. As you can see here in the secure CRT window, I'm receiving an error from the provider edge router PE1R5. And so we're really going to be dealing with the connection between R5 and R1, and this is AS15 between R5 and R1. And over here, this is our MPLS core. For those of you that have been following uh, the MPLS videos I've been doing, it's this exact same core here. I actually rebuilt everything using the new uh, OSPF v3 configuration and uh, syntax. And this is AS59, BGP AS59 right and so it was interesting while I was creating the provider edge to customer edge uh, BGP peering and I thought I had everything right on the left hand side I started to receive these errors here BGP 5 neighbor reset and it came back and it said active reset peer closed the session and I went ahead and I looked over my config everything on the right hand side was working fine and that's when I realized that um, I needed to kick off some debugs over here on router one. So basically the debug that I have running here on router one, if I do a show debug for you, I'm basically debugging um, all BGP uh, address families and all messages. So the command I ran was debug BGP, and I believe it's the asterisk, um, for all scopes and then all address families. And I just hit enter because uh, I wanted to see all the information that I possibly could. Now remember that this is an E BGP peering over on this side between the the PE and the CE. It's an E BGP peering and interestingly enough right away I am gonna go ahead and kill the debug here so it doesn't continue to scroll off the screen so we'll say you all and interestingly enough, right away, I was able to see that we had a passive open. It got the peer information. And then the passive open failed. And a great, great debug message here, right, that pointed me in the right direction right away. And what the debug message says is 192.168.15.1, right, which is the IP address right here on the E00 interface. It said uh, is not update source loopback zeros address 1111 and so then I immediately took a look at the configurations over here and so if we were to look at router 3 if I do a show run um, section BGP you can see here that for the eBGP neighbor relationship with that update source command it's not here and the reason it's not here is because typically there's well there are actually a couple of reasons the first reason is typically if I only have a single link right so I've got a single link here if this link goes down right it's not gonna matter that the update source is set on loopback zero on router one unless router one has an alternate path to maintain the peering with AS 59 so maybe I've got a second connection that's coming in here, right? Or maybe I have a connection somewhere else in the provider core. Because remember that update source, right, is typically used when you have multiple paths to get to the routers that you're peering with. And it's typically used in IBGP, not so much in eBGP, and especially when you've got a single connection, that if that connection goes down, it doesn't matter that the loopback interface is up here. I have no connectivity to the provider edge. So when I looked at the configuration here, I then immediately jumped back to R1 and said, well, hold on a second. Did I misconfigure this? So show run section BGP. And sure enough, um, I guess out of habit, or I was just quickly trying to recreate this topology, as you can see, I've placed the update source loopback zero command and unfortunately 
my loopback zero address is one 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 one, right? And that is not reachable from PE5. So PE5 doesn't actually have, so if I do a show IP route and VRF, we'll say customer A, you can see that the provider edge router has no route to 1111, right? It doesn't exist inside the VRF for customer A. And that's the interface into which router one uh, is connected. It's in VRF customer A. So I, I have an address in there for the update source that's not reachable. And so you'll notice we, we're continuing to get these messages and there's no debugging on here. These are just messages probably being generated from the, the log adjacency changes or from the um, or just from the um, the router updates. And so if we come back over here, you can see that we can clearly see what the problem is. Now it's interesting, it says is not the update sources loop back zero address. So I and I haven't tried to fix this yet. So my guess is if we were to come in here, the easy way to fix it would be to simply say no. And actually let me get into router config mode, router BGP15. If I were to say no, neighbor 192.168.15.5, update source loopback zero, that's going to fix the problem. And so we'll come over here, and what we should see is we should see the adjacency um, established. Now that we've pulled it off, I may have to, and yep, there we go, perfect. So the uh, adjacency with inside VRF customer A is now up. So now when I do a, uh, let's see, we'll do a do show, um, or actually a show BGP VPN V, or not VPN V4, sorry about that. Uh, show BGP uh, VRF customer A, and we want to take a look at all. Well, we're not going to see much there. Let's say, there we go. So when I look at the VRF for customer A, now I can see the loopback, but that's because we're redistributing connected. So it's kind of like a chicken or egg here, chicken or egg type scenario where I had the update source on the customer edge router misconfigured for the 1111, but the, the peering between the customer edge and the provider edge is never going to come up because that route, this 1111 is not reachable. So again, it's like a chicken or an egg. I want it to be update that that to be the update source, but the, that's not reachable uh, via BGP, right? Or within that routing table at all on router five. So now it is because the peering has come up, and we're redistributing the connected route. So you can also see that I can see the loopback for router three as well. And so this is coming across from router nine over on the other side. And so if we go back or actually we're on five, you can see that the message isn't coming up. Now, as I said, that was one way to fix it. So let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this command back in. And we're gonna break it again here. And I'll do a do clear IP BGP asterisk. And if we come back over to five now, and let's see what we see here. So you can see that the there was the neighbor adjacency change. Uh, the peer went down for the customer A topology base for IPv4 and IPv6. And so here now we're seeing the same thing. So if I were to rerun the previous command of the show BGP, not all, but show BGP VRF customer A, you can see that once again, uh, the adjacency, the peering between router one and router five is down and we continue to see this message here. And I actually took a quick look out on Google and I didn't see much on this and this might be something that is never misconfigured for whatever reason. But um, I thought it was interesting and definitely wanted to share the results. And so uh, the other way that I believe that this can be solved is to simply set the update source to the physical interface. So if I were to say neighbor update source loopback zero and let's change this, as you can see if I do the question mark, we can pick uh, the different interface types. So I'm gonna say ethernet zero zero. And let's see if setting it to the actual directly connected interface is going to solve the problem, and it does, right? 
So again, that update source loopback zero is typically done in IBGP pairings because in IBGP pairings, you're more likely to have multiple paths to get to your neighbor routers. Whereas in the EBGP setting and specifically in the setting that we're looking at here, I've got a single path. So if that path goes down, having that update source uh, set isn't going to help me at all because I have no other alternate route to get to the provider edge, right? Okay, so I hope you've uh, found this video informative. Definitely a, uh, a fortuitous fail, as I like to call it, in, uh, in my configuration that I then had to go back and uh, do some debugging on and take a look at. But again, if you see this BGP5 neighbor reset message, uh, it could be related to the fact that the pairing will not come up because there's an issue with reachability between the update source interface uh, between the BGP peers. All right, thanks for watching, and I'm going to go ahead and kick off uh, phase, or I should say, the third video here and wrap up this, uh, this MPLS uh, Layer 3 VPN series. Thanks for watching.